Every time you create and save a PowerPoint presentation as a file, know that it has its own set of properties, and the properties contain features to help identify or describe the file. For example, to help identify and describe my comments file here about Ghost or Paranormal Society, I can come up here, click on the Office Logo button, down to Prepare, and then over and up and click on Properties. Here I got some of the basic properties like the author of the presentation, the title, the subject, keywords, which, by the way, they're searchable, so if you type in a keyword and save it, later on you forget what the presentation you were just viewing was. As long as you remember the keyword, you can, of course, click on Windows Vista Start button, go to the Instant Search, type it in, and it will pull up your presentation. How you want to categorize this, just type in a category, status, and it gives you examples when you hover over the box there. For example, documents from my manager, that could be a category. Any comments. You also have some advanced properties by clicking on the document properties drop down arrow to advanced properties. You have the general tab, which who created it when it was modified or last accessed. Now it doesn't say who created it here, but at some businesses they have servers that will actually keep track of your name and have your name right here. So, you know, if you're not supposed to be in here, be careful that you don't open it up and they won't be able to track you. Summary tab. It has some of the same boxes you see up here, like the title, the author, but also some different ones like the manager, the company. Go ahead and type in your company's name. Statistics, which includes how many slides are in the presentation, paragraphs, words, and so on contents, the fonts that are being used, the themes, and then custom, where here you can say it was checked by Kurt Kershaw, the editor was Jane Johnson, even the department. Select the department, it comes up here as the name, down below give it a value, maybe it was from the HR department, click add, adds it down below. See, think of it this way, the properties here are the behind the scenes workings of the presentation where if I send it to another coworker and they're like, well, did somebody edit this? Did somebody check it? Um, which department did it come from? What themes are being used? Who authored this originally? So I can call them up and ask them if they have any more information on some slides that are supposed to be here but that now aren't. In any case, click OK. When you're finished, you can go ahead and click the close button to get out of the document properties and then when you're finished, be sure to save your work. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.